Hi Rural Riders, um, I'm a day late but I've been working on this little thing so you've got to have your hobbies. Anyway, today what we're going to talk about is your antagonist and the important thing about an antagonist is that it really it's half the film and it's actually what makes the film great and if we go through I'm going to talk about the sorceress I think her name was or whatever it was the antagonist in Suicide Squad, the first one, the Will Smith, Margot Robbie, Jai one, uh, Joel Kinnaman, that one. That antagonist was a nothing. It, that's what made that film so bad. And the army of people coming with heads that are just covered in eyeballs and all you do is shoot them and they had heaps of people that could shoot and hit them with things. It was just an episode. It was just a video game, just keep marching through the bad people. There wasn't that good antagonist. And here's why. Think when you're going to write an antagonist, this is how I approach a good antagonist. I, I rethink my entire story either as a bit of prose or you don't have to rewrite the entire script. You could if you want, but you basically retell the story from the antagonist's point of view. So I was trying to do this, I was trying to do this, I wanted to do that. Um, I'm going to go here. So Darth Vader, great, great antagonist. I am thought of highly by the Emperor. I can go around as a bully, but I have to get those droids back because the Death Star, which I'm not even in, in command of, I just have a lot of power. I'm the Emperor's emissary. Is going to be threatened. If that's threatened, I lose all my power, I lose everything. So his actions are to hunt down those droids. Then when he finds out, you know, Princess Leia's been rescued, get her back because he destroyed her planet, she can be held up as a symbol. If they can manage to turn her, maybe, towards, maybe that was something I was thinking of doing, getting her on the side of the Emperor, of the Emperor and of the Empire. So then she's a propaganda tool, but she can't be allowed to escape. Because everyone knows, I mean, it's no good saying, oh, she, she knows the planet was blowing up and she'll tell everybody. That's a good thing. They want everyone to know you step out of line, we're going to come blow up your planet. That is the ultimate threat. Not death of you, not taking your wealth off you. It's the death of your entire planet. You will not be able to evacuate the 9 billion people of Earth. So if you step out of line, we're going to come and get you. So this was going to be put to th put in threat. Put to threat? Put to threat? A threat was going to be put against the Death Star, which was going to be a threat to him. But he's a true believer, remember. He's a fanatic. So he has to defend that at all costs. And as all great narcissists, as we as you would have been writing out Darth Vader, he would have found, well, he's a narcissist. He's... The power has made him believe he's the only one that can do it. That's why he went down to the surface of the planet. That's why he gets into his own TIE fighter and goes into battle as well. Because he believes he's the only person that can actually do the job correctly. He squashes people when they don't do the right thing. He was a good antagonist because you could tell the entire story from his point of view that the rebels are bad. Where well, if we go to Suicide Squad, what are you going to tell the story there? I'm downstairs in the basement, I need to get my heart back. I'm just creating all these minions and sending them there to go and get my heart. A passive character. Your antagonist has to be as active as your protagonist. It has to be doing things that actually involve its action. Not just, I, I push a button and things happen, I push a button, things happen, I push a button, things happen. That's not active. You could actually take that character out and replace it with another character and the story wouldn't change. You could ch replace the sorceress with the monster from Alien, the mother from Alien, just giving birth to facehuggers that are going to go off and attack. Or any creature that can just split itself. Goonies. I'm just going to keep throwing water on them. Goo, goo. Oh, you know the one. Not Goonies, but the one where the, the Mogwais, you wet them and they split. Keep throwing water on them and they're going to keep attacking. Feed them after midnight, away they go. A passive character. You need an active antagonist. 
your antagonist has to have goals. The goals don't always have to be directly against the protagonist's goals, but they should have an effect where it stops the protagonist from getting what he wants. So Kelly's Heroes. Uh, Clint Eastwood film, it's great. Donald Sutherland plays a, a tank driver called Oddball. It's fantastic, go watch it. They're trying to get to the Bank of Berlin. And this is based loosely on the fact that at the end of World War II, they thought there was $300 million worth of gold held in the Bank of Berlin. These guys have some tanks and they're rushing to try to get there before the Russians get there and they're going to steal it. Not going to secure it for the American people or for the Allies. They're going to go and they're going to steal all the gold out of the Bank of Berlin. Because what happened at the end of World War II, when the Allies actually turned up, there was no money left in the Bank of Berlin. So no one knows what happened to the gold that was rumoured to be there. But they're pushing forward and everything that's going against them is circumstance. It's the war. It's the, uh, the German army is occupying this town that the bank's in. There's all these things happening that aren't sort of uh, an antagonist going, stop, you're not going to get that gold. The situation. So this is in this classic, the classic three stories, man versus man, man versus nature, man versus himself. This is a man versus nature story because the environment is pushing back against them. But it's an active environment. Things are happening. Towns are being attacked. They're coming across... Germans. They're coming across other people wanting to join them. A general who sees these these guys pushing ahead, trying to rush to the bank, and he thinks that they're trying to beat the Germans all by himself. So he pours all these resources in behind them. Come on, let's go and support these brave young men. So now the whole army's chasing up behind them, which won't give them time to get away if they get the gold. So they're fighting against the situation, but it's an active situation. It's not passive. So try that. Get your story, you think, oh, my, char my characters aren't working. Try writing yourself a great villain by writing the story from your villain's point of view. Find out what they want. Find out why they're acting the way they do. Do one of those oppositional matrices. What does the antagonist think of the protagonist? That's all in the book. Speaking of the books, there's Logline and there is uh, Tools Not Rules t-shirts thank you to everyone who's been doing that that's been fantastic i've been getting a few conversations going and if you want to join a quick community i will leave a link below uh, i think it's called the writer's social it's it's a good little it's a good little community and that we were doing something just recently where you put up one page out of your screenplay and that's not enough for anyone to sort of attack it or say bad things about you it was purely around craft one guy said, the sound of fireworks, and then we see the light, and everyone said, well, maybe start with the action. The light appears on a girl's face. The sound of fireworks can be heard. So start with a visual, not a sound. Little hints like that, that people are just throwing things in on top of each other, saying, well, what about that? What about this? This would be really... And it's a great little community. Go down below. There's no real ego there, unlike Reddit, where these people like to attack each other. So the link will be below. Um, the T-shirts, which I've discussed, the T-shirts right there. Books, cool. Um, and until next time, guys, I'm having, it's a Sunday. Until next time, guys, keep writing. Bye.